Okay, so we're to the 16th technique of Sankata, and this is an attack coming straight into our throat, and we're going to again be interrupting that attack with a dropping action. So it's somewhat similar to what we saw with the, the, the concluding action of the first eight from the kneeling form into Mayatoshi, where we dropped Uke down. This again is the dropping function as he's coming in to reach and grasp. We're going to drop down and control him straight to his knee, taking his hand inside his knee, controlling the outside of his foot at the same time to control and dropping him into a back fall. Um, and I would recommend just doing that element many, many, many times uh, so that you get very comfortable with the dropping down. It has a feeling in my mind of being like we're doing shomenate to him, but we're doing shomenate and dropping our shomenate hand to the inside of that knee. And so you want to become very careful about targeting the knee and targeting directly down in this dropping line as you come to your kneeling position to control. Once we've established control here, we're going to make sure that we don't have to get kicked by a second hand. We're going to draw back and target up and change hands and then down to attack his face. He makes a covering action to control this. We control the outside of his wrist, draw him over, and lock him with knee control on his elbows. So let's see it from this angle perhaps. Shomenate to the inside of the knee, right here. Immediate hand change, right hand controls the, the foot, rising and coming down to make a, a threat to the face. Uh, this gives us access to his arm. We roll him over with that and a little knee action to control over the shoulder. And maybe here. Shomenate down, control, in and out. Over we go, nice lock, good. Those control mechanisms are what it's all about. The dropping action, just as we saw in the Mayatoshi form from the kneeling, drops him down further than he planned to go. Once you're there, it's a matter of maintaining proper control so that you don't have a, a, a difficult time controlling him into a face down position. Again, you can work with a variety of conditions of what's going on with Uke to develop different ideas of how it might come to, uh, come to unfold for you. And I recommend experimenting with those so that you find out, hey, what if he's trying to kick with the other foot? What if he blocks with the inside hand and the outside hand? All these sorts of different conditions that occur toward the end. But again, the beginning is where the main action is taking place. Right here. <laughs> this is the majority of what's going on in the technique. Past this, yeah, we do want to make sure that we're controlling in such a way that we don't have to uh, eat further problems, so it's postural and penetrating here, giving him a problem to solve, rolling him over, and then concentrating the, the power of our locking form through the length of his arm and down into that shoulder to have a, uh, a different form of shoulder control than we played with before. So thank you very much.